Good morning Key Stage 1 and welcome to your day 1 of your week 7 for your writing and we are still looking at poetry. Just to confuse you, it is back to being Miss Sharman this week. So we are in our second week of this unit. So the learn objectives for this week is to plan my writing for a poem, which will be the first three days. So you've got three days of planning. Then to publish your writing. And then on the final day, you're going to perform your poem. So we're going to be starting with a retrieval practice today, and that is a retrieval practice quiz, which is looking at some rhyming words. So you can find the link on the website. Just click the link and complete the quiz. Good luck. Let's look at the learn objectives for today's lesson then. So today you are going to plan your writing for a poem. So you're planning your ideas today. I can discuss what I want to write. So talking about your ideas. I can also write in stanzas and I can even use rhyme in my poem. Before we start our writing today, we need to recap our waggle and that's a what a good one looks like. So when you're writing your own poem, you need to try and make sure you're writing something just as amazing as this. So please turn your listening ears on and make sure you listen to the poem because you could magpie some of these ideas in your own writing. Sea animals. What do you see in the sea? Animals moving free. Snails and whales using their tails. Seals and eels searching for meals. Catfish. Flatfish, chasing a fat fish. Bass and wrasse, swimming in mass. Hagfish, hogfish, trailing dogfish. What do you see in the sea? Animals moving free. Fantastic listening everyone, well done. Now we need to just go over the features so you can remember what the different parts of the poem are. So. We have a stanza, a line, a rhyme, a title, and senses. What I want you to do is pause the video, have a chat to your grown up, and see if you can identify these things in the poem. Pause the video and play it again when you are ready for answers. Let's have a look at the answers then. So a stanza. Can you remember what a stanza is? So a stanza is like a paragraph in a poem. It's a group of lines together. So this is a stanza. This is a stanza. And so is this group of lines. How many stanzas in the poem? Well done. One, two, three. There are three stanzas in this poem. Did you manage to know what a line was? Can you remember that? Well done. So the line in the poem is this. So it's like a sentence in the poem, but it doesn't go all the way to the end of the page. Some of them can be long. Some of them can be really short. Could you remember what a rhyme was? Well done. So a rhyme is where the words are sounding similar. Can you spot any rhyming pairs? C and free. Whales and tails. Eels. And meals, well done, it's following that rhyming pattern. Where's the title then? Super, the title is at the top and that is sea animals. What about the senses then? What senses are being used? 
this poem is all about what you can see in the sea. So that is the sense that is being used. Fantastic if you could identify those features in the poem. Just to rejog your memories from last week then, what I would like you to do is have another discussion and this time talk about what you can see at the beach because you will need to use these ideas to help you write in your poem. Pause the video now and talk about what you can see in the pictures. Well done, those are some fantastic words that you have come up with and they will really help you with writing your poem today. What I want you to do now is have a little look at your word bank that you used last week and have a little look at the rhyming words that you came up with last week because you will need these to help you plan your poem. So find those now and read through your ideas. Before I show you how I would write my poem, let's just go through the things that can help you in your independent writing today. So there's the waggle, there's what a good one looks like, and you can use this if you need help with the poem structure and the features of the poem. Now we are writing a different poem, we're writing a poem about the beach and not the animals in the sea. So just remember that if you're using the waggle to help you. We're writing about the beach today. You can use your planning from last week, so all of the things that you said you could see at the beach, use those amazing words to help you. We've got your sound chart to help you if you're finding it tricky to spell any of those words. Remember to use your phonics to help you. You can always look back at the pictures of the beach if you're running out of ideas. You have your rhyming words from last week as well to help you. And you can really try and get those rhyming words in your poem to make it fantastic. And also remember your sentence writing checklist, making sure you've got capital letters, cursive handwriting, finger spaces, full stops at the end of sentences, and that you read your work and check it as you go along. When you've got all of these things ready, you are ready to plan your poem. So now it's time to plan the first stanza of our poem because remember we're just writing the first stanza today. So what we're writing about is we are writing a poem about the beach so that will need to be the title. T-H-E the beach beach. The beach is our title. For my next two lines I'm going to use the sentence starters that Miss Balagay has used in the planning and that's just going to help me start off my poem. So I'm going to copy those ones from the planning sheet. What do you see at the beach? So many things I could screech. So what do you see at the beach? Question mark because it is a question. So many things I could Greek full stop. So just notice how those two rhyming words are at the end of the lines, beach and screech. What do you see at the beach? So many things I could screech. Now I need to think about my other rhyming words and what I used in my plan. So what could I see at the beach? I could see some ice cream. And I got lots of words that rhymed with cream, so I'm going to have ice cream at the end of my line. What else did I see? What were they eating or drinking? Some fizzy pop. So I'm going to have fizzy pop and ice cream. Capital letter. So fizzy pop, so like a fizzy drink, fizzy pop, and ice cream. Mm. 
Now I need to think about my words that rhymed with cream. And that's going to be the end of my next line. So what rhymed with cream? I had dream. I could say it's like a dream because I really enjoy having all of this fizzy pop and ice cream. So fizzy pop and ice cream. It's like a dream. Capital letter for a new line. And it, it is a contraction. So it is, it, apostrophe, S. It's like a dream. And that's the end of my sentence. So then I can put my full stop. Okay, my next line then, what else could I see? I could see some boats. What could I see with the boats? I could see some ships and boats, or boats and ships. I think I had more rhyme, rhymes with the ships. So I'm going to have ships at the end, boats and ships. That's what I'm going to do. Boats and ships. And my rhyming word that went with ships was trips. We're going on little journeys, little adventures. So I could say boats and ships or trips. Or adventures. For adventurous trips, that could work. Boats and ships for adventurous trips. Capital letter for a new line. Boats and tr ships for adventurous trips. And now I can put my full stop as it's the end of the sentence. So let me just read through it and check that it makes sense. The beach. What do you see at the beach? So many things I could screech. Fizzy pop and ice cream. It's like a dream. Boats and ships for adventurous trips. I'm happy with my poem, so that is going to be my plan for my first stanza. Now it's your turn to plan your poem and remember you are just doing the first stanza. So you're just doing the first one, two, three, four, five, six lines of the poem. So we've got a mild, medium and hot chilli challenge. So for the mild we've got the sentence starters and the title and we've got some sentence starters down here as well. So you can use some of my ideas to magpie in your own poem. If you want to do the medium task, we've got the two main sentence starters and then we've got the word and. So you're just changing some lines and listing what you can see using your plan to help you. Or if you want to do the hot challenge, you're rewriting the whole poem with just the sentence starter of what do you see at the beach? And then you need to finish the rest of the poem. So decide which chilli challenge you want to do. Pause the video and plan the first stanza of your poem. Good luck. You're going to come up with lots of lovely ideas. Super job on those poems, everyone. Well done. So your plenary for today is to read through your work. Does it make sense? So make sure you're reading it over and over again to check. Are there any corrections that you need to make? Maybe you missed some capital letters 
maybe you missed a full stop, maybe you need to change your spelling a bit and you can fix those. So if you have a red pen, you can use this to make for your corrections. If not, you can just use your pencil. Pause the video now and check through your work. Amazing job today. Let's reflect on your learning from today's lesson. So today you were planning your writing for a poem. Think in your head, could you discuss what you wanted to write? Could you talk about your ideas? Could you also write in stanzas? So could you write that group of lines together? And could you even use rhyming words in your poem? Remember that rhyming words come to the end of the line. Great job today and remember we've got two more days of planning to write the other two stanzas.